People are collecting unemployment checks when they shouldn't. Yeah, thousands in Kansas and Missouri do it every year. New at 10, Call for Action's Keith King shows us just who has pocketed and what's being done to stop them. This is just one of the agencies set up to help the unemployed during a difficult period in their life. Unemployment benefits also help. But we found each year thousands of people take advantage of the system, collecting unemployment benefits when they shouldn't. The Internal Revenue Service, the agency that collects your tax dollars. But in December, the U.S. Attorney's Office indicted 10 people for illegally collecting your money, more than $112,000 in unemployment benefits while working inside the IRS. Federal court records show the workers carried out the scheme between 2008 and 2013. Call for Action tried to track down and speak to those former IRS employees. Uh, I told her so that's going to catch up with you, sure enough. Lisa Hunsell is accused of pocketing more than $8,000. We went to her Belton home and spoke to a man who says he's her husband. I believe it was just something that they conveniently thought they could get away with. And one tried it, so they all tried it. They're part of a much bigger problem. Thousands of people each year abusing the system and collecting unemployment while holding down jobs or sitting behind bars. Since 2012, 760 people caught collecting unemployment while incarcerated in Missouri. Overall, 5,700 people in Missouri illegally pocketed nearly $7 million in unemployment benefits so far this year. 50,000 people over the past five years. And in Kansas, 21,000 during the same five-year period. There's a lot of criminals out there who think of different ways to use benefit programs. Lana Gordon oversees the Kansas Labor Department, the agency that cracks down on those who collect illegally and heard a compensation fund set up to help those honest taxpayers out of a job. Being a law enforcement agency now gives us the opportunity to be able to enforce the law to its fullest extent. New Kansas legislation passed in 2013 increases the agency investigative muscle and penalties for anyone caught abusing the system. In the past, a person who had committed fraud on the system would uh, be prohibited from collecting benefits for a year. Now we've upped that penalty to five years. Some states like Missouri turned debt collection over to the federal government, the Treasury Offset Program, which goes after a criminal's income tax return, an attempt to right a wrong, especially when it's your money that's being abused. Six of the ten former IRS workers we mentioned pleaded guilty to theft. They must pay thousands in restitution and serve time on probation. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.